Okay, so hopefully this video gets outdated fairly quickly as well. Um, I know that we have a couple of other videos up on the channel. Today is the 22nd of October 2020, so you could be seeing this. A lot of things might be changing already, but as it stands right now, this is what we have. We're going to take a look at the friends, parties, messages, looking for groups, those types of things you guys have been asking about in the comments. I've been reading through all of them, trying to respond to as many as I can, but I figured it's easier just to make a video for the masses. So let's jump over. We'll talk about the friends tab and all that sort of stuff. I do have some other videos coming out about some of the other features and some of the things that you guys have been asking about, like the store and stuff. So, you know, check out the channel for those as well. Um, but for now, let's jump over and take a look at the friends tab. All right, so obviously here you can see this is the this is the main screen of what you'll see. It's the home tab, um, but today we're going to talk about the friends. So it's right below it. Yes, I know I have 36 unread messages. They're old. Um, don't hate me, and I'm sorry about your OCD. But if when I click on it, you'll see that it lights up uh, with the white there, and you can see that I have my list of friends here. And so this is obviously where I can go. I'm just going to pick on Ace Attorney. I can click on him here, and if he had any highlights, this would be I guess like his activity feed maybe i don't know maybe we'll check somebody else and see if they have it what's paul got yeah paul has some stuff so this is like basically like uh paul's feed cerebral paul and you know because he's chosen to share that or whatever so you can see that and then if i click on about um you can see here you know xbox ambassador gaming from way back and the stuff that he's recent recently been playing and all of that sort of stuff now if i wanted to um i can click on these these three ellipses over here on the right hand side uh, okay so actually this is a better way to do it so edit right here so if I click on this it will bring up options for Paul because I'm on his uh, you know I'm on his profile I can also click on any one of these games that's right here and I'm able to install them uh, to my Xbox. You can't buy them because you can't, I don't know if it has something to do with like the way the Apple store was or however it is, but you can install it. And then when you get back to your Xbox or wherever you're going to play it from, um, you can then purchase it there. So that is, that is basically the store in a nutshell. We're going to go over that, but, but right here is what we're looking at right there first. Okay. So that being said, I'm going to click on it and you'll see it brings up, this is very similar also to, I should point out, this is very similar to game bar. So like Windows G, so for you PC players that use the Windows G and use the game bar, this is going to be super familiar to you. People who have not used that, it's going to be way foreign, but this has been on the PC uh, for a little bit this way. Um, so you can see here I have options. So I can invite Paul to a party. Um, I can report Paul if I wanted to. I don't want to do that. Um, unfavorite, remove friend, block mute, or cancel. I'm just going to click cancel. Um, so that would be one way to get into a party. Uh, the other way to do that is back out here. In the upper right-hand corner, you see where I can start a new message. Um, so if I click on this, I put a new chat. I can click on the search, and I can search for my friend's name. So like if I was going to search for Ace Attorney or AC Bongo is one of the two. I could just put it in that way. Um, and then I would be able to start a chat to them. So I'll just send one to Ace and we'll just say, hello Ace. Okay, so we send it off like that. Good to go. And then, so then back out here next to messages, if we wanted to just, so that was like starting a generic message. If I wanted to start a generic party, I would click on the headset that's right next to it. And then you can see that it's coming up and I'm, I'm joining a party. I can hit the ellipses up here and then I get the options down here at the bottom to make it invite only. It'll say in the upper left hand corner that I'm on invite only. Um, and then I'm able to do voice or if I wanted to have text within the party chat, I could do that here um, with those two at the top. And then I can either leave or add people here. If I click add people, it goes to the same search for your gamer tags. Um, where I can invite someone to the party. I can mute myself if I hit the button over here on the right. You can see it lighting up blue. Um, so, and you can see that Ace messaged me back. I'll have to talk to him in a little bit. And then uh, the drop down arrow will clear the party out. But I believe I'm still in the party because you can see that it's blue. So that tells me that I'm there. So if I click that back, it'll bring it back up. And I would actually have to click leave party. Um, in order for that blue to go away, and now I'm not in it. So that's how you do the party. 
Now the chats, this is where we're gonna run into some missing features. If I go to chats, um, we have chats here. You can look at all of your chats and basically, obviously you know what to do from here. You can kind of click on them or whatever the case may be. So the one thing that's missing here, however, is the messages for the chat requests. So you'll look down here and you have chat requests. Um, you can't get them on the app right now. So I'm assuming, you know, that's that has to come back. Like hey, chat requests is huge. I can't imagine not having it in here. It's just um, right now this iteration of the of the app is such a, a such a drastic change. Um, it's kind of like building from the ground back up. And like I said in the other the other day. We saw this with Smart Glass uh, going to the Xbox app, and it did the same thing where, what happened to all these features, and holy cow, how do I do this? Um, so, you know, that's that's basically where we're at again, is it's just kind of updating. So I, I believe some of this will have to come back. There's a few things in here that are missing that just can't be gone if you have it available on the rest. So unless they get rid of chat requests completely, I would think it would have to come back to the app. Just right now, you can't get them on here and that's how um, this works I think that pretty much covers it for the friends tab like I said there's there's really not a whole a whole lot here um, just you know messages and friends and party and party was the big one and looking for groups and all of that sort of stuff um, would kind of fall in under this social so um, it's not available uh, right now so again hopefully it comes back hopefully this gets outdated but for now, this is what we have. This is how it works. You can still do your parties. Um, so at least that's some good news. And um, like I said, stay tuned to the channel. We'll have more coming out tomorrow. The rest, probably the day after that and this weekend. So, okay. And with that being said, that's it. Um, if you guys have any more questions, comments, or whatever, feel free to leave them down below. I know you guys have been doing that so far. And uh, as you can see, I'm in there answering them as much as I can. And I'll have more videos coming out. So make sure you check the cards and the end screens and all this stuff. Um, for links to those, I'll put them all in a playlist together so that you can find them easily. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.